I really like these efforts, and we're seeing more and more of them. If you've got a group of people, whether it's a large organization or a big business or something, and you want to get your people vaccinated all at once, you can pull this off, like the Arizona Craft Brewers are doing with Ty this morning. Hello, Ty. I love these. Good morning, Troy. Yeah, you, you hit the nail on the head. This is such an amazing thing. They've come together. So you see they're doing this. They're making the beer here behind me. And then right over here, they're getting their vaccine. This is a pop-up pod right here inside of the Phoenix Beer Company in downtown Phoenix. The man behind all of this is Rob. Uh, you're with the Guild. For people that don't know about the Guild, talk about what that is. Sure. The Arizona Craft Brewers Guild um, promotes and protects our breweries, uh, mostly through legislation. Um, and, you know, you might see us in some festivals and things like that. And we've been instrumental in guiding our businesses and breweries during the pandemic. So walk me through what's going on today, because you were saying this is really exciting. This is kind of light at the end of the tunnel for a lot of these individuals who you mentioned. They've been on the front lines keeping production going. Yeah, uh, um, it, it is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, there's still a lot of work to do, but these guys have been at, at the forefront of it. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping uh, if you're watching this and you haven't got your vaccine and you're seeing some people that you know, you're seeing some businesses that you know, um, one of a hundred breweries could be here today. And uh, I hope that that inspires you to go out and, and, and volunteer to get it done or, or sign up, get it, just get it done. Yeah, yeah, it's easy. Uh, Rob, let's talk about this too, because, you know, like so many small businesses or any business really, they've been hit really hard by this pandemic. And that includes a lot of Arizona brewers as well. What are you guys kind of seeing out there? Sure. Um, you know, everybody thinks the brewery are all the same, but we have a hundred different businesses here across Arizona, and they all do something different. And some of them are more focused on a restaurant or a tap room. They lost a lot of business because people weren't coming back. They had to switch to packaging. Packaging is very expensive, especially if you're doing it on the spot market. So even though you see their signs lit up and, and, and you see their products here and there, they're, they're doing okay, but they're not doing great. And the biggest heartache is they're not able to bring people back so they can employ more staff. Yeah, it's kind of a vicious circle, really. It is. Let's talk about the pop-up. How did this idea kind of come to fruition? Sure. It, as soon as we had to start doing guidance almost on a weekly basis, uh, we looked ahead and we, we said, what's the next forefront? It's testing. So we encouraged everyone to get testing. Uh, and, and uh, you know, at this stage, it's uh, getting people vaccinated. And I knew that, you know, larger companies have access to do these things. Um, and we were looking for an outlet. Uh, just so happened that Matt Hines from Albertson Pharmacy reached out to us at the same time. And I think it works because uh, we can connect everybody together. We, we share and collaborate in the brewery. Um, so this works out really well. We were able to get more people vaccinated today than they could on their own at their own store. That is fantastic. So how many individuals are you hoping to vaccinate today? Um, we're just under 300 today. Just under 300. But that's 300. That's a, that's a, that's a pretty big number. And it's one and done. It's the, the Johnson & Johnson shot. So after today, they don't have to worry about coming back for a second, right? It is. And, and um, you know, again, because they're on the front line and they're seeing folks every Every day, uh, this is really going to limit the exposure. And if we have to do another one of these, we will. What are kind of the sentiment when you see people coming in here today? A lot of smiles through the masks. Yeah. Smiling with their eyes, I guess you should say, uh, folks coming through the line, right? Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, I think a lot of us are seeing each other for the first time in, in a year or so. So there's a little bit of that. Um, uh, I just met some new hires, uh, some people who moved from out of state. Um, so it's a little bit of a reunion, and it's a little bit of a, uh, a get-to-know-you kind of event. Uh, so we're very excited. People are very appreciative, and they want to get back to work. Yeah, yeah, that's the bottom line. A lot of folks want to get back to work, especially these brewers that have been kind of sidelined, so to speak, because of this pandemic. So we appreciate everything that you guys are doing, because you know what? We here at Fox 10, we like our beer. <laughs> so we appreciate everything that you're doing. <laughs> but pretty great that they're uh, being able to do this. As he said, 500 individuals that work as part of the guild uh, of the breweries throughout our state able to come in today and get their vaccine right here at Phoenix Beer Company in Phoenix. Yeah, I, I, that's a great program, Ty, for sure. Where is that again? They've got a shuffleboard in there and a bunch of beer. I need to go to that place. Where is that? We're going to uh, ride at 30th yeah. Street in Washington. Did you say 3rd Street in Washington? So, 30th, 3 0. Oh, 30th Street in Washington. Okay. Yeah, okay. You're going to show me yeah, around a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can make yeah, it over we're there. show you around coming up in a couple minutes. Okay, sounds good. AZAM is back. Welcome back. Ty Brennan is live this morning at the Phoenix Beer Company and Brewery and Tavern. They got all kinds of fun stuff going on. This is a huge process, Ty. It really 
is. Yeah, we've been talking about this because they're doing a, a pop-up shop uh, for the vaccine for all of the guild members here. But we wanted to talk about beer a little bit as well. you got to balance the two out. I'm here with Adam with the Phoenix Beer Company. Let's talk about this because the process, it always boggles my mind how much work and science and math <laughs> goes into making beer. Those are all things that I am not good at. Yeah, uh, the science part, I'm not very good at either. Uh, good, good thing we have great brewers who have <laughs> yeah. a full understanding of that. But, yeah, it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work in the front end, and then the math part comes towards the end. So this so. is obviously the end here, but how does it yep. all get started? In these tanks behind us, right? Yeah, in the tanks here. So we'll brew a batch of beer, 20-barrel uh, batch. takes about 12 days to sit in our fermenter, ferment, uh, fermentation tanks. After about 12 days, we put them in our brights where we carbonate it. Um, and, you know, the finishing process takes place there. And then we either attach it to our, our keg filler, have kegs filled, or like you see right now, we attach it to our canning line so we can fill up cans, get out to the market. Adam, how many beers can you guys can in a day? Uh, well, typically, we only do one, one style of beer per day because there's a cleaning process that's, that takes a little bit of time. But from a quantity standpoint, we could we could do up to about 500 cases depending on the labor we have for the day. 500 cases? 500 cases, cases yeah. That is a lot of beer. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you guys started back in 2019. Correct. And then let's talk a little bit about the pandemic because, we, I mean, this is why we're here talking about getting the vaccine for these individuals. What was that like for you guys? Because I know it, it hurt a lot of businesses yeah. like yours. Yeah, no, it was a domino effect for everybody, right? And uh, when bars and restaurants closed down, that's, uh, you know, we were hoping that, that would be 70% of our sales in 2020. Obviously not the case. So uh, we're just incredibly fortunate for the guild to put something together like this so our, our sales reps can go out back to the market and be safe safe and uh, put our, you know, the right step forward. Now, so. are you guys back open the tap room? Can we, let's, walk, let's walk over here and kind of show off, because when this yeah. isn't a pop-up location, this is kind of like your little tasting area, so to speak, right? Yeah, so this is our newly renovated uh, tap room. Uh, we're open Monday through, um, excuse me, Tuesday through Sunday, uh, about 12 to 6, 12 to 7 on Thursdays, Fridays. But yeah, this is it right here. We got, we got doctor's clearance so people can enjoy a pint after they, their shot. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. So if you have gone to any of these other locations you have to wait 15 minutes just to make sure you're okay right this is the place to get your COVID-19 shot because yeah. you can get a pint while you're waiting right yeah there's not too many places that will do that and I probably it so. probably it probably helps right I think so it helps I think absorb I'm, that that, that Johnson yeah. Johnson in your arm yeah I haven't got my shot yet but I hear it's going to be a little sore in the arm here for a few minutes <laughs> all right let's talk about this so, though, because we got to um, see what's on tap can you walk us through some of these beers so here? Alec here is going to pour us a beer okay sure. Kenny can I will you teach me how to do this sure yeah what do you uh, what do you move for uh, uh, something uh, for breakfast. <laughs> breakfast beer. <laughs> you have the mythic climber, it's a milk coffee stout. Okay. Start it at a, at a nice oh, it's a coffee angle. stout, so yeah. that is a breakfast Perfect beer. Perfect. Keep it at that hard angle. Okay. Dan, you bring it there. Can I try one? Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to try this one as well. Now, these look a little bit more difficult because so the. Oh, make sure you uh, all the way. All right. Oh, I want to taste it, Ty. I want to see. see. Okay, yeah, that's a taster. Oh, Too far is this the coffee Fail. one? Fail. Yeah, taste the coffee Fail. one. Fail. Fail. Okay, here we go. All the way. Oh, there we go. There we go. Beer. When do I stop? Ooh, what does it smell That's like? Place the top. Oh. There we go. Oh. 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 There you go. Oh, yeah. oh. Now slide it nice. down the bar. Just slide it down. It's ready for Sass commercial. Perfect. There we go. Overflowing. Oops. I'll clean right this up. <laughs> I catch it. Do you have a rag? <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll clean this up. There we go. Thank you, Adam. Are you going to taste it all? There we go. Are we not allowed to taste? I can taste. Are you allowed to taste? Yeah, just gonna do one little taste. Just pour it into your mask. I didn't say chuck.